In this final episode, we take you to picturesque Musa Penida, descend into the abyss to find a floating head, and come face to face with an alien from the deep. My name is Bertie, and this is Indonesia from below. Just a 40 minute boat ride from the hustle and bustle of Bali lies the rugged paradise of Nusa Penida. With hundreds of hidden coves, voluptuous vistas and tantalizing temples, Nusa Penida is an adventurous paradise. And for the most adventurous of us out there, Penida has one draw to top the lot. Underwater, Penida comes alive. The cold currents flowing through these parts bring nutrient water from the deep. Feeding Penida's sublime seascape. With crystal clear water and captivating coral, Penida is pure underwater enchantment. Beautiful coral, lovely visibility, but I'm not here to see some coral. I'm here for a fish so nice, they named it twice. Looking like something from Frankenstein's laboratory, this is a sunfish. As the largest and heaviest bony fish in the world, they can weigh more than a pickup truck, a whopping two and a half tons. Its scientific name, Mola Mola, comes from the Latin for millstone due to their round shape, grey colour and rough texture. Able to dive up to 800 metres deep, the legendary sunfish is an elusive animal. But at the right time of year, in the cold currents off Nusa Penida, Mola Mola can be seen aggregating near the reef, waiting to get their parasites cleaned by resident bannerfish. To help in my quest to find the mysterious Mola Mola, I've enlisted the help of my old buddy Jason who is also the proud owner of Blue Corner Dive Center, which has recently opened. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you very much. Looking amazing here. So tell me about this fish. Tell me about this fish. Okay, well, they're, uh, they're just like a very large round trigger fish, really. Um, they've got a very large um, set of fins on them. Their tail doesn't really seem to do hardly any work whatsoever, maybe just a basic little rudder. And they just have a very confused look on their face. It's just funny, like you look at them and their mouth sort of open a little bit and they're like, <laughs> they look like they're just pondering life. And is it a dangerous dive? Yeah, it's just a case that because you're on a corner of, of, of the island um, and because of the way which the canyons are, you can sometimes get the water spills over, you can get a little bit of down current, you can get a little bit of out current. So it can be a little bit of a challenging dive. Um, so you really want people who, who are experienced divers doing this dive site because these molemolas are coming on in. Even though they've come shallower, they still can be relatively deep. I've never seen one before. We're going to find the one. The very top of my bucket list is a molemola. Mola. I'll deliver. Think. I'm confident. I'm confident. We love confidence here on I'm Indonesia confident. from below, don't we? I'm confident. All right. Okay. All right, let's do it. Should jump in the water. Let's do it. Cheers, buddy. Plunging into cold water at the crack of dawn, what a way to start the day. As we made our rapid descent, it soon began to get colder and colder. This is not a venture for inexperienced divers. Fighting currents, low light and deep water, 
we continued on. Eyes peeled out into the blue. Then, out of the darkness, appeared a giant floating head. Measuring more than two and a half meters from fin to fin, he was a beast. Staring at this marvelous monstrosity, it's easy to see why they've achieved such a legendary status. As swiftly as he had appeared, he turned away and then descended back into the darkness. That, my friend, is where we roll. Mola, Mola, you said you'd find me a Mola. And there we go. Oh, perfection. That what was an absolutely crazy looking fish. It's hard to believe that such an animal exists, but they do. They're here at Noosa Panida. I know, because my mate Jason found one for me. Woohoo! Indonesia truly is an underwater treasure trove. From the massive to the mini, the surprising to the sublime, and the beautiful to the beastly. When you're in amongst the Garden of Eden thinking, does life get any better? And what comes from out the blue? A whale shark. That shouldn't happen, but that just did happen. I don't think there's any greater thrill in the animal kingdom than having a manta circling around your head. Remoras, there's so many remoras underneath them. I need my camera. I need my camera now. It's been an aquatic adventure like no other. But this nation of islands is vast and we've only just scratched the surface.